Hello Hi. Hi, <laughs> สวัสดีสวัสดีครับ Could you please introduce yourself ครับผม Okay uh, Hi I'm Na Tu I'm 21 from Vietnam mm-hmm. and currently I'm a student My major is international business and I come to Brown mm. accidentally <laughs> enjoy the team of 21 uh, uh-huh. people uh, 21 um, by City Brown right Yes And why you study international business? I think it's a long story, but basically at the, at the beginning I wanted to uh, make friends and connect with people. And mm-hmm. I have like I had two options. I mm-hmm. could go through some kind of public relations or public affairs to talk with people, mm-hmm. or I can do some business and find out more about people's lives. So I chose international business because you yeah I want to interact uh, and to, to interact with people, right? Yeah. And What are you doing right now about the social enterprise? Uh, I'm a student, so I'm working part time with my project. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm working uh, on the field of gender education. I deliver projects and courses for teens to empower themselves with the skills and knowledge. And yeah, thanks to all this understanding, they could grow up and like to their full potential without. Uh, experiencing any kind of stereotypes or mm-hmm. any kind of inhibits inhibition, yeah. Mm-hmm. And what kind of activity that you have in your project? Oh well, there are a lot of activities as you can see. But basically, the course is based on the project learning method. Uh-huh. That means, yeah, they would learn all the necessary skills and knowledge to run their own project. Like after the course finish, they would be given a chance to. Yeah, initiate their own ideas into practice, and yeah, they would run their social project just mm-hmm. like us, and it would be a, a, a like a circle. They mm-hmm. could like bring what they learn to impact others. How many? How many? Um, many people in your team have? Oh well, we have quite a large team. <laughs> uh, really? I, I'm, I'm not many sure it's a large team, but uh, there are about 20 people. Oh, 20. Yeah, so they take care of many things, many stuff. Like we have a team of uh, marketing and communication, and they just do some creative job. We have a team of business, uh, like they care about the revenue and partnerships. Mm. And we have another team of uh, human resources. You already divide the the, the responsibility yeah, in in yeah. each one, and you are the one of the founder, right? Um, yeah, maybe <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh-huh. I'm the vice president of, oh. of the organization, and yeah, I'm also take care of the business part of the uh-huh. organization. Oh, it, uh, it your social enterprise also related to your study mm-hmm. in Some, the somehow, university. Somehow, yeah, so that's a very good chance for me to exchange my knowledge and apply what I've learned to the practical context. Mm-hmm. Oh, you stay in Hanoi, right? Yeah. What what university? Uh, foreign trade university. Foreign trade university. Yeah. Okay, I I already I have talked to Tu this morning that when I go to Hanoi, he will uh, bring me to tour around Hanoi. <laughs> <laughs> I already remember that Hanoi is the north and Ho Chi Minh is the south. south. <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh-huh. Perfect. Oh, I want I want to know the reason why uh, why people when think about Vietnam, someone will say Ho Chi Minh more than Hanoi. Well, I think that it depends because both of these cities are at the major cities in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. Hanoi is the capital, mm. and there are a lot of like um, cultural uh, experience there. We can experience like uh, a lot of things, for example, cuisine, or like cultural museums, or any kind of traditional things that you uh. can only find in 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 Hanoi. Mm-hmm. And in Ho Chi Minh City, Minh. there would also be cultural experience as well, but not so much. Rather than that, Ho Chi Minh City is a very energetic city. Mm-hmm. It has a lot of like energetic, uh, fun, right? You? Yeah, energetic, <laughs> active activities uh-huh. for us to enjoy and to work. And I could see that. And today is very cold. Why, why we are here right now? I don't know. <laughs> Where is it? Where it is? Uh, This one, What it is? Yes. It is the gate to the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> it is one of the most like renowned universities in the world. And, uh-huh. Yeah, we are sitting in front of the door to that university. Which this is, is the main gate, right? Yeah. Main gate of Brown University, and this uh, gate we open only two times. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so first time is when you uh, come to school. It's like uh-huh. when you commence the the school year, and then when you graduate. 
the uh-huh. and second is when you graduate yeah. from the Brown University, the door will open. I'm um, welcome you <laughs> and then let let you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't have that chance, but hopefully that one day maybe P first or I can, you know, um, come here to come walk here past, here right? To walk past the door. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we, we we come here in Bao. This week is the third week, right? Yes. How many days left? Maybe uh, seven, less than six, one week, huh? Uh, yeah, six, less than one. Six day. <sighs> Time flies. Yes. We we had a lot. A so lot of fast. yeah experience and and we spent in Brown and we saw a lot of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot how, of activities. Yeah. How about experience in Bao Cup? Uh, so far so good. I I could see that uh, in in Brown, we we have some kind of a very cozy and friendly environment. Mm-hmm. Like all people are comfortable with themselves and like are very confident about what they are doing and they also respect others. I could sense that. It's like a, a feeling of a community, mm. yeah, a very strong community. And also for the Southeast a- Asian is um, have a VSA really yeah, strong. Yeah. VSA come from Vietnamese um, society association, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> and it's <laughs> Something like really that. strong. Today, um, this year, Harrison is the president, uh-huh. and you also um, have joined uh, so many activity here with with the VSA community and yes. also I am also have Thai community too. yeah yeah I see that like some of the very excellent students here and if anyone come here have don't forget to find your com- your own community because yeah. um we are here not only not not only the our two country um Myanmar we we saw the Indonesian yeah. community no we saw the African, yeah. Europe, uh, another country. Um, there are a lot of the activity here mm. in Brown University. Yes. Uh huh. And um, if the one who listen your video right now and want to come here in United States with YC Lee program, how can they prepare themselves? Have. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> it's, it's a very big question. <laughs> uh, I think that the first thing we, we need to prepare maybe the mindset. Mm. It's like when we, we set the goal to join Wesley program, we really need to make sure that we go the right way. We, mm. we meet the, like, the mission of, of the program right, to deliver some kind of project that makes social impact and at the same time business impact mm. to, to, their, to our own community. This is the very first part. It's like the business and social mindset, and then yeah, we we need to prepare something like maybe I don't know uh, in other countries, but like in Vietnam, we we had to write a proposal, right? A proposal. Mm, yes. And yeah, write the, an essay expressing why you you think you are the right candidate for the program. Mm. Yeah, and that's a part when you you have to show your mindset and. The, the idea or the project that you are you are developing, and make make people see that it is like uh, it is making impact. Mm. You you have to confident what you do right now, yeah. and to show your ability to order to to make them understand yeah, that you right. are the potential mm-hmm. candidate. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to come to USA, you have to energetic yeah. <laughs> and can do everything in the world, right? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, at least you have some, that mindset. And I think that one of the very important things as well is to um, to ask the, the other alumni. Like mm. if, if you're in Thailand, you can ask me first mm. <laughs> like because he is an, an alumnus of, of the program and he would give a lot of insights so that maybe we can um, uh, yeah, mm. learn from that better. Uh, I, yeah. And not only me, we have 21 people. Yeah, 21 people. Uh-huh. And this is the first generation of YC Lee Ooh. X Brown. <laughs> we are the first, first one. <laughs> and hopefully we have a next generation yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we are good, uh, yes. then we will have the next generation. Uh, we, we also did the thing good, right? Yeah, yeah, we did a good thing so far. <laughs> <laughs> and not only this topic, um, YC Lee also have another topic, right? Mm-hmm. What topic else? Uh, I think there are three themes, right? Uh-huh. The, the, the theme that we are 
uh, participating in is social entrepreneurship and economic development. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second one is like uh, related to environment, environmental development, mm. protection or things like that. Uh, and the third one is yeah, civic engagement. Mm. Yeah. Civic engagement. Yeah. And the three themes like target different goals, and different maybe yeah, activity. People. Yeah, activities. And also different university too. Yeah, yeah. And we are here in Brown <laughs> yes. for for the social business part. It's a very good chance. Uh, kind of, I'm kind of very grateful for for the program. Yeah. Do you know why um for for this topic, social entrepreneur and economic development, why they choose Brown as a um, uh-huh. place that why we, uh, why we come here? Well, I'm not sure the reasons <laughs> of the organizers, but I could feel that as I said in Brown, there is a sense of strong community. I mean, mm. everyone is. Like aware of their role and like aware of helping and sharing with others, so there are a lot of mm, centers for social innovation and entrepreneurship around, mm. like the Nelson Center for, in, for Entrepreneurship, or mm. the Social Enterprise uh, Greenhouse, mm. or Square Center. The daily business that available yeah, in the yeah. di- in this city, right? Yeah, mm. and Square Center is the the center that we we mostly study there, mm. and there are a lot of community activities so that people can like make better social impact and even financial impact to themselves and to others mm. so I think that's why yeah really good really good point I have um, to say that here in Brown University we have a very strong community because these universities uh, stay with the with the city the mm. Leo city yeah. it's not only the campus but we have the mm. The, the the Leo house, yeah. the people who uh, just uh, undergraduate, although the one who already graduate, and their parents, someone else, uh, still yeah. stay around here, yeah. and also the second one is the the Leo business that uh, already happen, mm-hmm. are, are already uh, launched in this city, the social enterprise. That to already said is very strong, and they can share their experience with us. Yes. And then another thing uh, I will ask with too is uh, I see the diversity in this uh-huh. university mm. because we uh, have a lot of the nationality here, not only the American, not only Europe, not only the ASEAN. We have a uh, every people from every corner or from 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 all around the world. To um gather in here, Brown University, right? And this is very guest experience that we can join the event here in Brown. Mm. And do you want to continue the master here? <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's a good question. <laughs> I I really want to. Uh huh. Like it's it's a very a very ideal environment, and it's it's like coming home. You know, mm. when when I talk about the sense of community, I feel that. A lot of people are, are caring about each other, and yeah. The, but the first thing is that they they really know their mission and their goal, like that. And I really appreciate that the the, the community. Mm. Of Brown. How can they? How can you prepare yourself for the next target? Uh-huh. Master <laughs> in Brow. I, I really. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be a long way. Just uh-huh. like I prepare for Y City, actually, I failed twice. Before, oh, before, for, before for I, got, I got the chance, yes. Mm. And yeah, when failing, you can learn a lot about yourself and about what you can improve next time. Mm. So I believe that if I failed once or twice or three times, it would be okay. And yeah, as long as I could like um, see what I need to improve mm. during trying to apply for the master program. And you know, before we apply for anything, yeah, doing some research. And preparing something in advance for yourself, mm. like to sharpen your skills and your um, profile, things like that, to show that you have the consistent uh, ability to become part of the university. Mm-hmm. Really good point. That when you fail, don't stop. Yes. Continue. Yes, don't you stop. You said you 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 fail two times, right? Yeah. Three yeah. times is okay. Yeah. How about four? <laughs> 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 okay. I think I will consider. 
Oh, if all you just oh, change the way, right? Yeah, change yeah. the way that you that, that you do. Maybe it's um you go in the incorrect way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. We have some yeah. some some something that you can enhance. You can develop it yeah. to be better. Definitely. Right? Yeah. And yeah. you know what? How many degree right now? Really cool. I think six, five or six. Hmm. Six. So. If people who come to the fall period, what is your, uh, what is your suggestion for them? If you got, if they got selected to join Wisely X Brown. Oh, so uh, I wish you luck <laughs> <laughs> and like enjoying everything you can here because it would be one of the most um, valuable and memorable journeys in in life. I could say that, like a lot of experience and a lot of. Things that you can can discover about yourself and about others. That would be a very worthwhile experience and mm. worth a try. Even if you fail, try, try, try. Mm. <laughs> and if you fail twice, maybe the third time you would go too brown. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be mm. um, yeah, that's worth the while. Yes. In the previous uh, previous video previous uh, episode, yes. I have interview at Angry from Indonesia. He said that he fell for four times. Wow, stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, he come to brow. Yeah. If they, uh, if he already um got some 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 uh Y C D generation, they he he yeah. may cannot come to brow, right? He cannot meet us. Uh, yes. <laughs> he cannot meet us. <laughs> yes, this is an important thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, oh, I forgot what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's ah. fine. And uh, uh, prepare yourself to be ready in anything that you do, and anything that you as expect, just do your best. Mm. Prepare yourself. Ask your question that what they want from us, yeah. that what they want from you, and uh, if you don't know, you just search. Google or yeah, Google ask is us. The best right? Maybe we can we can help you. Yeah, yeah And yeah. if you come here in in fall, in this um season, don't forget sweater, group, yeah. and hat like this because it's really cold. <laughs> okay, could we say bye bye in in Vietnam language? Okay. Uh, Vietnamese language. Chào tạm biệt các bạn. Yeah, that's Again, what I said. Again, I cannot. Chào tạm biệt các bạn. Chào tạm biệt các bạn. Yes. Chào tạm biệt các bạn. Yeah, yeah. Chào tạm biệt các bạn. Bye bye. <laughs>